If you're gaming on a Mac computer, here are 10 games you should have installed on your system in 2021. Number 10, we have Baldur's Gate 3. Late last year, Larion Studios, Elverells, and the Apple Metal Engineering team ported this amazing RPG to Mac. Baldur's Gate 3 contains great dialogue, beautiful locations, impressive cutscenes, fantastic turn-based combat, and cross-play between Mac and Windows. Despite being in early access, it's optimized really well with Metal 2.3 support. The macOS performance is actually better than the Windows 10 version under Bootcamp, which is very uncommon. If you have a new Mac, you can also enable HDR. HDR makes the game look more realistic by having access to more bright details. Baldur's Gate 3 is supported on Intel Macs with a 4GB or better dedicated graphics card. If you don't meet the requirements, the game also has official external GPU support. On Apple Silicon Macs, the game is running under a special version of Rosetta 2. A native Apple Silicon version will come at a later date, plus touch bar support and support for adaptive sync displays. Baldur's Gate 3 is available on Steam. Number 9 is Proteus. Proteus is one of the coolest single-player FPS games I've played in years. It provides a AAA experience while adhering to what made FPS games massive back in the 90s. I like to think of it as a mix of both Quake 1 and the modern Doom games. Proteus provides very violent gameplay, maybe more than Doom in some cases, and has very fast-paced shooting using a range of awesome guns. Use a pistol when you run out of ammo, a shotgun for close encounters, a rocket launcher to turn multiple foes into mush, a laser gun for snapping far away enemies, and so forth. Its retro and modern graphics also mean the game can scale well on a variety of Macs, all the way back to 2013 in some cases. Proteus is available on Steam via Early Access. Number 8 we have Griftlands. In April 2021, deck building roguelike Griftlands finally arrived on Mac. Griftlands takes what I loved from Slay the Spire you know, the combat and exploration, and expands on it with a much more complex story and rich character development. Three character campaigns are on offer, and each have their own decks, abilities, and maps. You'll fight and negotiate your way through a corrupt and broken sci-fi world and experience two card games, battle and negotiation. The graphics might be somewhat simplistic, but the animations and art style are fantastic. The benefit of the almost 2D visuals too means that most of you watching can play this game no matter what type of Mac you have. I'd say Grifflands can run on most Macs back to 2012. Grifflands is available on Steam and the Epic Games Store. Number 7 is Apple Arcade Games. I decided to include all Apple Arcade games into one spot on this list. While many consider Apple Arcade to only feature mobile games, this is far from true. There are quite a few AAA games from Cyberpunk Adventure, Beyond the Steel Sky, open world game The Pathless, Diorama RPG Fantasian, to NBA 2K21, which provides realistic basketball simulation. Plus, there are heaps of well-polished indie games from Create Your Own Adventure, Wonderbox, The Story of Love, Memory and Survival in South of the Circle, to Next Stop Nowhere from the creators of After Party and Oxen Free. The benefit of playing arcade games on Mac is that most offer custom graphic options, high resolution and improved performance. Plus, almost every game is supported on Macs back to 2012, and each week, games are being updated to natively support Apple Silicon-based Macs. Number 6, we have Path of Exile. 
Originally released in 2013, in 2020, Mac gamers were finally able to jump into one of the most popular free games out there, Path of Exile. The game has been updated so much throughout the years with a slew of free expansions from new bosses, gameplay mechanics and other stuff. It's still just as fun to play in 2021. The Path of Exile devs are committed to a fair to play, never pay win policy. To my knowledge, no content in the game is behind a paywall and you can access all the campaigns, extras, characters and so forth without spending a single dime. Path of Exile is supported on most Macs back to 2012. For Apple Silicon based Macs, Path of Exile has specific Rosetta 2 optimizations, but a native version will come soon. You can grab this game on Steam. Number 5 is Transport Fever 2. In February 2021, Transport Fever 2 was ported to Mac. The game allows you to build your own transport empire and lets you navigate transport routes through land, water and air. There are quite a number of simulation games on Mac, but I prefer this one as it contains polished gameplay, no bugs and great performance for Macs. In fact, it's one of the few games on Mac with Molten VK support. Molten VK is a software library which allows Vulkan applications to run on top of Metal. Vulkan helps with rendering performance for this simulation game too. These improvements will be most noticeable on Intel Macs with a 2GB or better dedicated graphics card or an Apple Silicon based Mac. Transport Fever 2 is available on the Mac App Store and Steam. Number 4 we have Devotion. Honestly, there has been a shortage of quality horror games on Mac for the past few years. That was until Devotion was ported to Mac early this year. Devotion is like an Asian take on Layers of Fear and is absolutely brilliant. It takes place sometime in the 1980s and depicts the life of a family shadowed by religious belief. You'll explore their Taiwan apartment, but soon will discover you're kind of lost in time, gradually shifting further into a terrifying nightmare. The game is fairly high-end though, so you'll want to play it on a Mac with a 4GB or better dedicated graphics card or an Apple Silicon based Mac. Devotion is available to buy from the developer's own website. Number 3 is Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Arguably not as popular as the early games in the series, Shadow of the Tomb Raider still showcases the advanced tech on display with the Metal 2.3 framework. It has touch bar support on MacBook Pro, official external GPU support on Intel Macs, HDR support and photo realistic locations to explore. It also contains all the big action scenes and great cinematics that made the previous games so fun and immersive. Shadow of the Tomb Raider has been optimized really well on Mac, so it only requires a Mac with a 2GB AMD Radeon R9 M290 or better, or a 1.5GB Intel RS 540 or better. If you don't meet those requirements, just plug in an eGPU. On Apple Silicon based Macs, the game is running under Rosetta 2, but is fully playable. Shadow of the Tomb Raider is available on the Mac App Store and Steam. Number 2 we have Hades. You might be saying, why? Why is a 2D game so high on the list? Well, because it can be. Hades is an excellent godlike action game from the creators of Bastion, Transistor and Prior. You'll have access to unbelievably powerful mythic weapons and abilities to push back the enemies. It's also incredibly well optimized for Mac. It is supported on Macs back to 2012 
and even old machines can play at fairly high resolutions and get a decent frame rate. So a MacBook Air player will have roughly the same experience as someone on a pro device like an iMac, even with all the on-screen effects and multiple foes. Hades is available on Steam and the Epic Games Store. Number one, we have Metro Exodus. Metro Exodus is known for its epic storyline, gritty gunplay, and demanding visual effects. While this isn't the new ray tracing enhanced edition, it's still a great looking game on Mac. It was also optimized for Mac in collaboration with 4A Games and the Apple Metal Engineering team to take full advantage of Metal 2.3. Unlike 2033 and Last Light, Exodus introduces almost Far Cry levels of freedom in huge sandbox stages, but it always provides a clear direction on where to go, it's more linear in that sense. There is so much more to this game, so you'll have to check it out for yourself. Metro Exodus is supported on Intel Macs with a 4GB or better dedicated graphics card. While it isn't native to Apple Silicon right now, it has specific Rosetta 2 optimizations to ensure it is quite playable on those machines. You can buy it from the Mac App Store, Steam, and the Epic Games Store. Here are some bonus games. Frostpunk is a society survival game that landed on Mac in early 2021. It took a while to release on our platform, as optimizing it turned out to be quite difficult for 11-bit studios, but it turned out well, as the game works wonders on Mac. Disco Elysium is a great role-playing game, where you play as a drunk detective, trying to crack murder cases. It offers a native Apple Silicon version via the Mac App Store. Subnautica Below Zero came out of early access in May 2021. It still has terrible performance on Mac, mind you, but it's a great open-world survival game if you can look past that. Desperados 3 is a story-driven, hardcore tactical stealth game set in a ruthless Wild West scenario. Spiritfarer is a wonderful, cozy management game all about dying. It offers a free demo on Steam if you're interested. What do you think of my list? on the best games for Mac right now in 2021. Are you impressed or disappointed? Let me know in the comments. While most new games don't come to Mac, there are still some high quality gems on offer that are propelling Mac computers into being more tolerable gaming machines. We're still far off, but at least Apple are taking steps in the right direction in terms of gaming. Now it's up to more devs to care about this platform and you, the gamers, to actually be interested in the first place. Anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date with everything Apple gaming related. My name's Stewie and thanks for watching.